So here's a fun stat for you guys. Um, there's, there's been two times in, in the history of U.S. financial markets that stocks and bonds have, have drawn down uh, to this level uh, in the same year. Um, it's actually, there's only, I think, two or three years that they've ever both drawn down in tandem. But both of those years, um, they both drew, drew down 20% plus, uh, and, and this is one of those years. The years were 1931 and 1969. Uh, two years after, within 24 months of, of both of those events, the U.S. defaulted on its debt. Uh, both, both times, uh, they defaulted on their gold promises. One was FDR, uh, who basically revalued gold higher and they confiscated everyone's gold. The second one was the Nixon shock, where they, they basically said, nope, global central banks, we're not honoring your promises. This is just paper money now. Um, so here we are in a paper money world. How do they default on the debt? And once again, they're going to default in real terms. They're defaulting in purchasing power terms. They're going to do that by printing debasing the currency, creditors, bondholders lose their purchasing power, and where is that purchasing power going to go? Um, that's the $100 trillion question, uh, and, and I, you know, that's why I'm here.